Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the American Spirit Blue Cigarettes. Now, this is a full-flavored cigarette that contains American Spirit's quote-unquote original blend of tobacco. Now, I don't know if that means that this is one of the original varieties that was first introduced onto the market back when American Spirit came onto the market in the 1980s. I have no clue about that but the fact that these cigarettes right here supposedly contain american spirits original blend certainly has intrigued me quite a bit that is for sure thank you very much to chris for sending this pack of cigarettes over to my p.o box for me to make content about i really 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 do appreciate it thank you so much once again to chris for sending these over it really is appreciated but what are my expectations for this pack of cigarettes right here well i don't have the most positive expectations i will admit Although, granted, I'm not really a big fan of American Spirits, I by no means think that these are going to be a super terrible pack of cigarettes. I don't think they're going to taste terrible by any means. I just don't think they're going to be very much to my preference, I will admit. But what are my specific expectations for this pack of cigarettes right here? Well, taste-wise, of course, I'm not expecting any sort of chemical taste, additive taste, or sort of like low-quality paper taste or anything like that kind of thing. I am expecting it to get a very nice, pure tobacco taste. However, I am expecting that tobacco taste to not really have a lot of distinction to it. I'm not really expecting any sort of good undertones. I'm not really expecting any sort of bad undertones either. I'm just expecting sort of a basic tobacco taste that isn't really sweet nor sour. And I'm honestly just kind of expecting the tobacco to taste like cardboard. I'm not really expecting it to be the greatest taste in the world. I do hope that I'm wrong, that is for sure. But that's kind of what I'm expecting from this pack of cigarettes right here. I'm thinking body-wise, the body is probably going to be pretty small, especially for the amount of nicotine that is in these cigarettes right here. Because these cigarettes have a lot of tobacco in them. And because they have a lot of tobacco in them, that means that the airflow is going to be really, really, really tight. Annoyingly tight, if I do say so myself. And because the airflow is so tight, it means that the draw is going to be extremely tight as well. Annoyingly tight, if I do say so myself. More than likely, at least. And then if I had to guess how rough or how smooth these are going to be, these are probably going to be on the rougher side of things. Probably if I had to guess, uh, like a probably like five or six out of 10, uh, which for the nicotine levels on this cigarette really is not much in all honesty due to the reduced airflow and the reduced draw, just making it where you get less smoke in your system. But honestly, that could completely... Um, just uh, what, what's the right word, word, wait, what's the right way of putting this? That could completely, the, the fact that the there is a reduced draw and a reduced airflow could also just completely just um, make the make, make the cigarettes rougher. I've definitely had cigarettes like that before. I can't, there's a certain word. There's a certain word that I wanna use right now and I, I the word is escaping me. It's on the tip of my tongue right now. It's escaping me at this moment. It is what it is kind of thing. But what I was basically trying to say is that the reduced draw could actually make these cigarettes rougher, but I don't think that it's going to. And I definitely do think that on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the roughest and one being the smoothest, these are probably gonna be like a five or a six out of 10 if I had to guess, although they could very well be rougher, but I'll have to let you guys know once I actually go ahead and get one of these all lit up. But before I go ahead and get one of the American Spirit Blue cigarettes all lit up, I gotta go ahead and first off, take a look at the packaging. After I go over the packaging, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cellophane all off. I'm gonna go ahead and get the pack of cigarettes all opened up. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what the cigarettes look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of the American Spirit Blue cigarettes all lit up, and I'm gonna go ahead and officially let you guys know what I think of, well, these cigarettes right here but first off as said we got to go ahead and go over the packaging which i will admit is a pretty nice look it's pretty much just the classic american spirit packaging just with a different background is and that is exactly what i like i ain't gonna lie all that is exactly what i like this is very much the classic look for most American spirits out there kind of thing. American spirit has been changing their design on some of their packs a little bit lately, and I'm not a big fan of the new design, I will admit. I, it's not nearly as iconic. It doesn't look nearly as good from a distance, in my opinion. It doesn't look nearly as, um, it doesn't look nearly as timeless kind of thing. I really, really, really do not like the new design of American spirits, that is for sure, that they've been putting on a couple packs, but this, I like this design. I like this design quite a bit. I am a fan 
of American Spirit packaging. I ain't gonna lie, I really do think it's a good look that looks quite distinct from a distance, and this pack definitely does look pretty distinct from a distance. The blue with the red right there and everything like that kind of thing with American Spirit right there, pretty distinct from a distance. You're gonna be able to instantly tell what these are from a distance that is for sure. So certainly no complaints on my behalf about the packaging. Although one thing to mention about American Spirits is of course that a lot of the colors tend to look a little bit similar to each other. So uh, I definitely have uh, had situations before where I'm trying to get a specific color of American Spirits kind of thing. And I ask for that specific color and they give me a different pack instead, just simply because they look so similar. These definitely look a little bit more similar than not to the turquoises, which are essentially just the organic version of this cigarette. But still, they definitely are more distinct from a distance than not, that is for sure. But when compared to some other American spirits, it can get a little bit confusing, I ain't gonna lie, especially since the only place in the packaging where it actually says blue is right there on the top. But of course, I gotta go over all of the details of the packaging as well. But I do think that this pack looks really good from a distance, and I do think that's a very nice, timeless look, that is for sure. But we can just see the background for this pack overall. It's just a very, very, very nice sort of light, I'd have to say, uh, pastel blue. Uh, while the name of these cigarettes is just blue, not light blue or anything like that kind of thing, the color on this pack is definitely more of a light blue, I definitely have to say, sort of a pastel sort of a light blue. A really, really, really nice look, if I do say so myself, that I am a fan of. On the lid of the cigarette pack right here, we can see in sort of like, I'd have to say, a beige, uh, we can see a Thunderbird right here. I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be. I've heard that it's supposed to be a Thunderbird, so that's what I'm going to stick with, but we can just see a Thunderbird right here in some very, very, very nice, and in, in a very, very, very nice sort of art style. Um, I'd have to say the art style is very reminiscent of, uh, I'm trying to think of the right way to put this kind of thing. It's very reminiscent of sort of like an older style, maybe like, um, Native American art style or something like that kind of thing, like maybe something you'd see out West, like, um, and I want to say like Nevada or something like that kind of thing, maybe like maybe something you'd see on like, on like a wall in like Nevada or something like that kind of thing. One of those really, really, really cool uh, paintings out West and everything like that kind of thing. That's kind of what this is reminiscent of. And of course, that's exactly what American Spear is trying to go for, even though they're not a company that is completely, that, even though they're not a company that is related at all to any Native Americans or anything like that kind of thing. They're really trying to push in the whole um, Native American sort of um, style and everything like that kind of thing. That's what they're going for, even though they're not related at all to American Spirits. So I definitely do see why they've got this design right here and I definitely do see why it looks and I will admit it looks pretty good that is for sure there is a little bit uh there are some like darker blue areas just like slightly darker I definitely have to say and some of those areas are sort of a um a drop shadow, I definitely have to say, on the Thunderbird. I don't know how well those areas uh, show up on camera, but they are indeed there nonetheless. Moving on below that, we go on to the actual main part of the pack. We can just see it just says natural right there, and that's all in a very, very, very nice sort of darkish red. And that does indeed have shading on the actual uh, letters themselves, but there is no sort of, um, there, there's no sort of, um, like drop shadow, no borders or anything like that kind of thing, but there are indeed uh, towards the edges of the actual letters itself that the red color does get a little bit darker and the brighter part, the brightest part of all of these letters is right in the middle kind of thing. Pretty interesting look if I do say so myself. Below natural right here, it just says American Spirit right there and that's all done in black lettering with I'd have to say like a red insert on the inside kind of thing, like with a, a red outline on the inside. Looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I do suppose another way of describing it might be to say that it's red lettering with a black outline or something like that kind of thing. It really does depend on your perspective, I will admit. Moving on below this though, we can just see there is a Native American smoking out of the peace pipe right here and everything like that kind of thing. He's got a very nice feather right here with a, a black tip right there and everything like that kind of thing. And he's sitting right in front of the sun. We can see the sun right here. Very nice red sun. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And then we can see there is a slightly metallic silver um, band going around the sun just like that. And this does indeed stretch around to the other side of the packaging just like that. Does it go to the bottom? It does not, sadly, but still pretty good look if I do say so myself. But we can see he's wearing a crown and everything like that kind of thing. Looking at pretty good. I Ain't gonna lie, y'all. Onto the side over here, though, we can just see in black, it just says tobacco ingredients, tobacco and water, and that's all it says on the front of the packaging. It's pretty much just the classic uh, American spirit style, uh, but with a different color to it. That, that's pretty much what it is, in all honesty, and I really do think that it's a pretty good look. I like how it looks. I think it's a pretty timeless look. I think it, even if they keep this look, I think it'll keep looking good for years and years and years and decades to come kind of thing. I really do think that this look is a great one. I ain't gonna lie, and I really 
really do think that's a it's a timeless look. It looks good from a distance. I really do like American Spirit packaging. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But that's pretty much all there is to the front of this packaging. As I'm sure you guys can tell, it's going to be getting a pretty good rating for the front of the packaging. I'm a fan of it. That is for sure. Moving on to the back of the packaging that we can see, we get a little bit of a Marcus segmentation spiel right here. We get miniature logos right here and everything like that kind of thing. And then there's some other stuff down here on that same background of the sort of light pastel blue. I definitely have to say, we can just see it just as natural American spear right there. Pretty much just a miniature version of the logo that we saw on the front of the pack. Then below that in black, it just says real simple different um real simple different i do suppose that is kind of like their motto and everything like that kind of thing yeah sure it might be real tobacco yeah sure it might be simple because i'm like it's just tobacco with no additives and i do suppose it might be different because not all cigarettes are made with no additives and everything like that kind of thing so i do suppose that makes more sense than not but that's kind of just a that's that's kind that's kind of I'm not the biggest fan of that slogan, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not the biggest fan of that slogan. It really does sound like a corporate slogan, that is for sure. But of course, American Spirit is a corporate-owned company. It's owned by R.J. Reynolds, after all. So um, that does make sense, I ain't gonna lie. That does make sense. I'd love to say that uh, American Spirit is not corporate-owned, that it's small tobacco or something like that. No, they were bought by R.J. Reynolds in like 2002. <laughs> is, they've been, they've been corporate-owned for a very long time, that is for sure. Uh, moving on, besides this though, we can just see the uh, exact same style look or the exact same look that we, saw on the, we, that we saw on the front of the packaging, just slightly smaller on the back of the packaging. We can just see the sun right here and the Native American smoking the peace pipe with his crown of feathers, just sitting in front of the sun and everything like that kind of thing, looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Below all of this right here, we can just see it just says our original blend, very, very, very boldly, certainly no complaints on my behalf. And then below that in black, they have their market segmentation spiel, which I'm gonna go ahead and read off to you guys real quick. It just says, our blue style is crafted with the original American Spirit tobacco blend that has defined our portfolio from the start. It's a full-bodied taste made with earth-friendly whole leaf tobacco and water. And then below that, it just says AmericanSpirit.com. And then below that, it says made in our zero waste to landfill facility. And then below that, there is a silver line right there. And then it just says tobacco ingredients, tobacco and water. And then there's another silver line, which is introduced, which is introduced, which is interrupted by the Thunderbird that we see on the front of the packaging, but in silver on this side, just like that. And then below that, it just says full body taste right there to give you an idea of what to expect, which I will admit is a good idea. I do like that little idea. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But that's pretty much all there is to the front and the back of the packaging. Let's go ahead and move on to this side of the pack real quick. We can just see the barcode right here. We can just see the design stretching a little bit behind the barcode and everything like that kind of thing. We can see, of course, that these are indeed FSC compliant. Then in black right here, it just says that natural American spirit cigarettes are not safer than any other cigarettes. They have to put that on there because they got in a lawsuit in the late 90s, early 2000s. I can't remember the exact uh, year, I will admit. Uh, they lost the lawsuit, though, I want to say. And if, in my personal opinion, that's why they were bought by RJ Reynolds, because they probably didn't have a lot of money afterwards, because I think they had to pay out. Don't quote me on that. But they did indeed have to start putting natural American spear cigarettes are not safer uh, than other cigarettes, just because they're additive free and everything like that kind of thing does not mean that they are safer. In fact, they are just as dangerous as normal cigarettes. Um, then we could just see above this right here, it just says call us with questions 1-800-332-5595 and then it just says FNNTC and then it just says Tobaccoville ah, I like that city name I'm gonna have to live in Tobaccoville I ain't gonna lie I've loved myself some tobacco I gotta go to Tobaccoville I ain't gonna lie but it just says Tobaccoville North Carolina 27050 and then it just says FS uh, sorry SFNTC.com and then it just says PEFC right there which I think is their whole like zero waste to, to factory whatever thing there's whole zero waste factory thing right there i don't know or maybe like sustainable something i don't know i think this is some sort of like sustainable zero waste something like that kind of thing i can't remember in all honesty above all of this though we can just see it just says 20 class a cigarettes right there and then there's a black line and then it just says copyright sfntc right there on the other side we can see it's a lot more simple we just get the same blank um same sort of blank this is not blank this is pastel blue but we get the same sort of a pastel blue um sort of background that we got on this side uh, but on this side it's very 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 simple we just get the surgeon general warning which just says uh quitting smoking now greatly reduces serious risks to your health well i don't plan on doing that because um why would i not want to have serious risks to your health to enjoy life you got to take a risk kind of thing and i mean like to, to to have a rewarding life i mean like you know what they say you know what they say to get any sort of reward, 
The bigger the reward though, I'm getting my words all jumbled up. To get any sort of reward, there has to be some aspect of risk. But the bigger the reward, the bigger the risk kind of thing. You might make a million dollars on the stock market, but you might have to risk losing two million dollars to make a million dollars on the stock market kind of thing. It's one of those things. It's one of those things. So does the risk outweigh the reward? For me, it does not. I love my reward. I love my tobacco, that is for sure. So I I'm gonna keep smoking, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna keep smoking. Uh, but that's pretty much all there is to this side of the packaging. Moving on to the top of the pack, we can just see it just says Natural American Spear right there with the uh, Native American smoking in front of the sun and everything like that kind of thing right there as well. Pretty much just a miniature version of the front of the packaging and the same look we saw on the back of the packaging as well. And it just says blue right here blue right there in black and then moving on to the bottom of the pack we can just see that there is indeed a tax stamp on this as the individual who sent me this pack i believe is from mi is michigan minnesota maine what is mi me is maine right mn is minnesota i think so this has to be Michigan? I don't know. I don't know what does it say. Oh, I can't tell. Michigan. Yes, it actually does say. It actually does say. And it has like Great Lakes. Actually, this is a really interesting tax stamp, stamp design. Let's just take a look at that real quick. Actually, that's really cool. It just says MI right there. It has a tree and everything like that kind of thing. It looks pretty cool. QR code right there. It has some cut numbers right there and everything like that kind of thing. And then it has like the seal of Michigan or something like that kind of thing. And it very, very, very tiny. It actually does say Michigan. I could barely read that. I ain't gonna lie. My eyesight is not terrible by any means but not good enough to read that tiny text that is for sure i was just barely able to make that out but you know this pack of cigarettes came all the way from michigan pretty cool if i do say so myself but we can just see below the tax stamp it just says natural american spirit or so i would assume and then there are some numbers on the pack of cigarettes as well it just says 61 b3 bn9 and that's all it says on the bottom of the pack pretty decent look pretty timeless look in my opinion it's not really a retro look per se i do not i definitely do not think that this is a retro look um but it definitely does look good in my opinion i definitely think it's a very nice timeless design and it's a design that american spirit should keep for years to come hint hint american spirit don't change your damn design because the new stuff looks like i'll be frank shit it looks terrible i hate it keep this design come on keep it if, if you have some sort of regulation issues or something like that kind of thing, just switch up what's going on. Please do not switch from this design. I think it looks fantastic. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get the cellophane all off of this pack of cigarettes right here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the quality of the pack of cigarettes But uh, uh, after. Let's go and take a look at the quality of the pack of cigarettes after. No, before getting the pack of cigarettes all opened up and everything like that kind of thing. I'm going to go ahead and shove the cellophane in my backpack just so it don't fly away or nothing like that. Can't be littering, you know what I'm saying? Can't be littering. And, uh... Without further ado, let's just go ahead and take a look at the quality of the pack. It seems pretty good if I do say so myself, as I would hope from a pack of cigarettes that in my local area costs like nine, nine and a half bucks now, depending on where you go. These are getting pricey, that is for sure. Been a pretty decent quality pack. Certainly cannot complain. Looks even better with the cellophane off than it looked with it on, as most packs of cigarettes do, I will admit. Um, you know, decent quality. I'm not seeing any tobacco fallout or nothing like that kind of thing. Uh, there's a little bit of like a, a white spot right there that you could like flick and everything like that kind of thing, but that's nothing out of the ordinary in all honesty. Pretty decent look, pretty decent quality if I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and get this all opened up though. So we could just see it just says on the uh, cigarette lid, it just says, please recycle this pack. Well. I will be keeping it. I won't be recycling it. But if you don't plan on keeping your packs, of course, I do suppose recycling is always a good move. We can see the insert for the cigarettes right here that holds them in place. It's just a very, very, very basic sort of white cream look, I definitely have to say. A slightly different white look than the foil itself. Although I do suppose describing it as foil is not quite accurate, as this is indeed more of a glossy paper than anything. We can see the Thunderbird right here on the foil. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I'm trying to show it to y'all. But we could just see the Thunderbird right there. Certainly no complaints might be happening. And then on the top of the paper right there, it just says, please don't litter. I don't know how well y'all can see that. Something flew right into my nose. I felt like I had like a leaf blow into my nose or something like that kind of thing. Like I didn't inhale it, it just ran in my nose and then I felt like it stuck there. I don't know what that was about. 
but it does indeed say please don't litter on the top of the foil right there and then we just get the thunderbird right there looking pretty good i do find it amusing that this is like sort of like an off-white and that this is like a pure white uh, i do find the difference to be pretty amusing i will admit uh without further ado though let's just go ahead and see what the texture of this like is like and yeah it's just sort of like a glossy paper i definitely have to say let's go ahead and get that all opened up and man it's annoying look at how badly that ripped out man that is a little bit of complaint on my behalf but it is what it is. It ripped out. It didn't damage any of these cigarettes. It didn't force any of them out or anything like that kind of thing. So I'll take what I can get, I do suppose. Let's go ahead and get one of these cigarettes all out though. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we could just see pretty normal looking cork style filter right there. It is a little bit long, but it's not really any longer than you might expect from a full flavored cigarette. I definitely have to say there is indeed one line of perforation that I can very, very, very easily see on the um, filter that is for sure we get one gold line right here and then on the actual cigarette itself in black we get the thunderbird that we see on the front of the pack of cigarettes on there this is pretty much the exact same look that you get on every single american spirit cigarette some of the filters are a little bit longer some of them are a little bit shorter some of them have perforation some of them maybe don't i can't remember in all honesty which ones don't have perforation i will admit but this is one of the ones that does indeed have perforation are there any more lines of perforation or is that the only one i'm pretty sure that is indeed the only one i'm not seeing any more lines of perforation you know pretty basic look if i do say so myself but not a bad look by any means just cork style filter uh with one line of perforation gold line right there and then just the thunderbird right there look Looking pretty good if I do say this myself. It's not really any different from other American Spirit cigarettes, look-wise at least. Taking a look at the blend of the tobacco on the inside, I am look. I, I I feel like I'm seeing sort of a medium blend of tobacco. I see some darker distinctions. I see some lighter distinctions. I wouldn't really say that this is one or the other. It's definitely more of a medium blend of tobacco in my personal opinion at least. And just smelling the cigarette right off the bat. Wipe my nose real quick. I'd have to say it smells like an American Spirit, frankly put. But what does the American Spirit cigarette actually smell like kind of thing? If you all don't know what American Spirit cigarettes smell like. Tobacco. That doesn't really smell distinctly sweet or sour. It just kind of smells like fresh cardboard mixed with tobacco. That's kind of what it smells like. That's what a lot of American Spirit cigarettes smell like in my personal opinion. And this one is no different. But before I go ahead and get this cigarette all lit up, I do want to take a sip of water real quick, as otherwise I am afraid my throat might die because I am expecting these cigarettes to be a tad rough. So got to take a sip of water beforehand. But I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and get this cigarette right here, the American Spirit Blue full flavor cigarette all lit up. And now it is time for me to go ahead and let you guys know what I actually think of, well, these cigarettes right here. Without further ado, let's go and get this lit up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Uh, excuse me. Had to grab myself a little bit of a screenshot, you know what I'm saying? Had to do it to him. <sighs> right off the bat, these cigarettes are definitely a little bit harsher than I thought they were going to be, I will admit, but still not too much harsher than I thought they were going to be. What is the taste of this cigarette like right off the bat? I got to take a couple hits and properly determine it. So yeah, I'd say my guess was more on point than not, but there is a little bit of sort of a tangy taste in there as well. There's a little bit of a tangy taste in there, sort of like an almost lemon-like, citrus-like tangy taste in there, actually. My taste, was my, my taste, my expectations, my guess was mostly on the money, but this is a little bit different than what I was expecting. I was honestly kind of expecting these to taste exactly like the American Spirit Turquoise. In my opinion, the American Spirit Turquoise tastes like pure cardboard. This, on the other hand, actually has a slightly more interesting taste than the turquoises, in my personal opinion. (sighs) 
Yeah, okay. So I definitely have to say, it's uh, of course a tobacco taste with no chemical taste, no additives, no sort of low quality paper taste. And you get sort of a, um, not really a, a super like sour taste kind of thing, not like a bitter taste per se, but it's sort of like a, it's sort of like a tangy, almost lemon-like, citrus-like taste. That's kind of the taste you get from the tobacco. Other than that, it's a pretty basic tobacco taste. There's not really any other undertones going on. It's not, there's no sweetness. There's nothing like that kind of thing. Um, a lot of tangy-ish cigarettes I've tried before kind of have undertones of dark chocolate. I'm not tasting any of that yet, but I could very well taste some of that coming up later in the cigarette, but I do doubt that personally. But right off the bat, it is very much a sort of just basic tobacco taste with a little bit of a sort of like lemon zest in there kind of thing. That's kind of how it is. It's got like the slight bit of lemon zest in there, a slight bit of sort of a citrusy lemon-like taste. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I ain't gonna lie y'all. The airflow is of course terrible. The draw is of course terrible. It is what it is. That is to be expected from every single American spirit cigarette. Yup. Every single American spirit has a absolutely terrible airflow and they all have an absolutely terrible draw and the perforation on this cigarette definitely does not help either i ain't gonna lie y'all let's go and test the body real quick body <coughs> excuse me is definitely actually slightly bigger than i thought it was going to be i honestly thought it was going to be a pretty small body that's actually about moderate sized in all honesty so certainly no complaints on my behalf definitely not the biggest body ever and the wind definitely did wisp it away a little bit it's definitely not the um boldest body you do get that line of perforation going so there is definitely a decent amount of air mixed in there as well it's definitely not the boldest the thickest body in the world but it's definitely not a decent it's definitely a decent sized body it's not a super small body by any means so certainly no complaints on my behalf And uh, roughness and smoothness wise, I definitely have to say these are indeed on the rougher side. A little bit rougher than I was expecting them to be from the um, fr from my expectations, that is for sure. Definitely a little bit rougher than I was expecting them to be. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Um, I definitely have to say though, these are like, a, I'd have to say a six or a seven out of 10, but the main roughness from these cigarettes does not actually come from the tobacco itself. The tobacco itself is actually quite smooth. It's from the perforation and from the draw of, of the cigarettes. Um, you're drawing so much trying to get a good amount of smoke in your mouth that honestly it kind of causes a little bit of harshness and that's where the roughness of this cigarette right here comes from. But it is burning for a pretty good amount of time to be expected from an American Spirit cigarette. <sighs> American Spirit cigarettes do have a lot of tobacco in them, more tobacco than most other uh, manufacturers put in their cigarettes. So it definitely does make sense why the airflow and why the draw is so bad and why they burn for so long and everything like that kind of thing. It makes sense, but um, yeah, not a bad cigarette. Not a bad cigarette if I do say so myself. Definitely more to my preference and uh, a lot better than I was kind of thinking it was gonna be. No complaints on my behalf. Yeah, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. I'm gonna have to think about whether I'd buy these again. I will admit, because this is honestly not so bad. This is honestly not so bad. It's different from what I would normally smoke. I prefer a sweeter cigarette personally, but because there is that little bit of a tangy taste in there, it's not a super boring taste by any means. I actually do like this a little bit more than not. And of course there's no chemical taste or anything like that kind of thing. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And I will admit, I'm feeling a little bit buzzed right now. These are definitely stronger cigarettes than not, that is for sure. Yeah, I cannot complain in all honesty. Well, let's go ahead and test the body one more time. body i took a pretty small hit so of course the body was pretty small but that uh that perforation definitely did hurt that body quite a bit i ain't gonna lie y'all but either way still not a bad cigarette by any means i'm not really getting any other sort of undertones besides just the sort of basic tobacco taste um with an undertone of sort of a lemon zest or something like that kind of thing it's not a sweet lemon taste it is very much a citrusy sour sort of lemon taste that is for sure but um yeah not bad if i do say so myself
Yeah. Well, I'm sure I could take another hit of this cigarette, but honestly, I am all good. So without further ado, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stub out this cigarette. I'm, not, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know my final thoughts on this cigarette, and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and give the American Spirit Blues a rating. So let's go ahead and stub this out. I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure the ash is all out and everything like that kind of thing. Don't wanna be causing no forest fires. I'm sitting in a beautiful park. I would hate to see it burn down, especially because of me, that is for sure. And of course, I uh, just put my cigarette butt right next to me and I'll throw it away after this video. Can't be littering after all. But I'm gonna go ahead and I think start with whether I would buy the American Spirits again. Would I buy them again? Would I buy the American Spirit Blues again? Ah, man, it's hard. There are other completely natural added to free cigarettes that I prefer, I will admit. I, there are some out there that I do prefer that I would much rather buy over this specific pack of cigarettes. But, but, it's still not a bad cigarette by any means. And if the gas station or smoke shop or wherever I was at kind of thing was doubt of or didn't have the cigarettes that I was specifically looking for, if I was specifically looking for a pack of additive free cigarettes and everything like that kind of thing, I do think I would buy these as an alternative. I do think I would buy these as an alternative. They are very, very, very strong, I will admit. A little bit too strong for my preference, but still very good nonetheless. I would buy these, but let me just put it this way, they're not my first pick. These are not my first pick, but I would buy them again, I do think. Not a bad cigarette by any means, and I definitely do think that if you prefer cigarettes with more of a sort of like lemon sort of zest taste and almost like tangy sour taste, I definitely do think that these are going to be much more to your preference than not. And honestly, when compared to other American spirits, specifically the American Spirit Turquoise, I prefer this over those. I definitely prefer this cigarette over the American Spirit Turquoises. Of course, the American Spirit Turquoises are essentially the organic version of this specific pack of cigarettes. Um, but I think the taste from these is a lot more interesting than the American Spirit Turquoises. I do not like them. They are not a uh, cigarette that I like a lot, that is for sure. And I definitely do prefer this specific pack of cigarettes over the American Spirit Turquoises. But as said, these are by no means my first pick. I would much rather buy a different pack of additive-free cigarettes if I had my choice. What is the rating I'm thinking for this pack of cigarettes, though? Well, I really like the packaging, as I'm sure you guys can tell. I like how the cigarettes look. I like more so than not how the cigarettes taste as well. And really, my only complaints about the cigarette are just that it's an American spirit. It has a really bad airflow, and it has a really bad draw. Other than that, though, I really don't have too many complaints. I do like the pack of cigarettes. Um, I do like how the cigarettes smoke. I like the length of them and everything like that kind of thing. Um, the rating I'm thinking for these is probably going to be a solid, oh, if I had to guess, I'm thinking a solid, eh, 7 out of 10. I'm thinking a 7 out of 10. I'm definitely thinking that's what these, I think I could bump it up to a 7.5 out of 10, but I'm thinking a 7 out of 10 is definitely deserving for this pack of cigarettes right here. That is for sure not a bad cigarette by any means, but it won't be my first choice. Let me just put it this way. Let me just put it that way. Comparable cigarettes to this pack of cigarettes, though. Of course, the American Spirit Turquoises. I'd have to say American Spirit Yellows. This is essentially just a stronger version of the American Spirit Yellows from what I know. American Spirit Tans are probably the most comparable cigarette to this pack right here, though, uh, in the American Spirit lineup, in my personal opinion, taste-wise, not strength-wise, though. Um, but outside of the American Spirit lineup, I'd have to say uh, Nat's Oranges. Um, while they do, in my personal opinion, have a little bit more of an interesting taste, than this pack of cigarettes. They are an added to free cigarette and everything like that kind of thing. So they do have a um, somewhat comparable market share, I definitely have to say. And I'd have to say more so than not, they are a little bit comparable to these. And that's oranges um, or comparable to these to an extent. Um, but they're not, they don't by any means have the exact same taste that is for sure. And I definitely have to say, is there anything else? Uh, uh, maybe... To an extent, this is kind of a reach. Nat Sherman Black and Golds and Sobrain Black uh, and Sobrain Black Russians. To an extent, both of those cigarettes have more of a tangy taste to them, and they're both added to free as well. 
That's kind of a reach though. The taste of those is a, a little bit different kind of thing and they're, they are very different cigarettes market share wise. But yeah, yeah. I definitely have to say probably the Nats Oranges are the most comparable ones if I had to think right off the top of my head. But those still have a different taste as well. The most comparable cigarette you're gonna get to this though is going to be within the American Spirit lineup if I had to guess. But you know, as said, a solid eight out of, uh, solid eight out of 10. No, 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 no. I said a seven out of 10. As you guys can tell, I am still a little bit buzzed. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. A solid seven out of 10 for the American Spirit Blue. I don't think I have anything else to say. So as such, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my uh, second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But you know, thank you so much for watching y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace. Have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.